is the perfect RIA In case you didn't know Bringing you all the strategies To help your business grow Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you hanging on the edge of your seat? Sit back and listen in While you feel the beat, yeah Another myth bites the dust Hello, TPR Nation. This is Amber Kim from The Perfect REA. Thank you for joining me on today's Follow-Up Friday. On Monday, Matt and Micah kicked off their episode by talking about how you have to be willing to have tough conversations and that there needs to be more critical thinking and pushback. You need to look at the things that you're doing in your practice and whether you're doing what everyone else has done and whether what you're doing is actually delivering massive value to your clients. And sometimes it is the case that what you're doing is great. And if so, at least you've taken a step back to check in on that. So continue to move forward with it. But sometimes you'll be shocked by what you're doing simply because you've been doing things a certain way. You want to be pushing the envelope with what you're doing in your practice, especially with communicating to your clients and how effective you are. This led into the conversation about economic commentary and why someone would try to predict the future. And how is that improving the client experience? The guys think that this happens because you try to grasp at some type of certainty in an uncertain world. There's a time and a place for this, but you don't want it to dominate everything. For Matt, when clients ask about the market, he looks to comedy as a way to respond by comparing predicting the market to yesterday's lottery numbers. Now, you have to be careful responding in this way because a client is coming to you looking for confidence. The guy said the same thing comes up with this being an election year. Micah will point out that the market will go up and down and the same thing will happen in the next four years. So he said his job isn't to get lost in the storm, but instead to focus long-term and also be protected in the short term. And he transitions all of this into his bucket conversation because that is something the client can use right now. The markets are outside of their control. The guy said there's so much frustration from clients with things that are outside of their control, but they can control their cash flow. He also will remind his clients that they're savvy investors. And this isn't just a compliment. It's to remind them of where they are and it builds relationship capital. You want your clients to feel empowered. The guy said spending your days reading economic commentary isn't a good use of your time, but you can't just ignore it. You have to have enough knowledge to be able to have an intelligent conversation. There's a balance there, but you need to have the information and answers to the questions that your clients are asking. They also pointed out that it's difficult to translate general economic knowledge into actionable advice for your clients. So with this, make sure that you're going to other advisors who you respect and asking them what they're talking to their clients about. Matt Michael went on into what should you be spending your time on and what can you to improve delivering value to your clients, especially around the economy. They recommend that you spend time on streamlining your investment models. Also, look at long-term economic trends and read books related to this that's focused on trends over a really long period of time, not just years. They said it helps you be more introspective about things that are happening instead of getting caught up in things that don't matter long-term. And with this, make sure that you tie everything back to your client's goals. The guy said that at the end of the day, it's important to understand that it's time in the market, not timing the market. One of your most important jobs is keeping your clients from making bad financial decisions. So understanding how to communicate effectively is going to be way more valuable. Let's get into action items. Look at your calendar and see what you have scheduled, why you're doing it, and whether what you're doing is actually helping clients. Make a list of all of your models. And if it's not five or less, you need to make a change. On Thursday, Jamie was talking about how people get so easily offended now because of what others say. And then the other side to this is people who say things when they don't have the experience to back it up. She talked about how the perfect diary got started from Matt and Micah talking about how there's so many industry experts out there who don't have real experience. You want to take advice from people who have that experience. And as Jamie shared at TBR, we have a no BS rule. We're focused on the pursuit of perfection and when giving or looking for information, we want it from those who have experience in a particular field. And you should want that as well. She said that people are going to tell you whatever you're willing to listen to, and you have to make sure that you filter through that advice. But Jamie also pointed out that people don't like getting called out. Consider if you felt this way before, if it's your ego coming forward, because there might be some type of truth with what someone is saying and that that's why you're getting offended. Jamie shared situations where Matt and Micah have been uninvited, putting it nicely, from industry events simply for sharing their advice from their experience and others get offended. 
The same has happened online through social media. Matt can stir up honest conversations, but it's up to someone else whether they choose to be offended by what he says or instead take a step back and read the lessons and advice that he's sharing from his experience. Jamie wrapped up with the importance of finding a place for growth and the impact that our memberships have had on others, especially with our masterminds, which truly transform your practice. She said you need to surround yourself with others who have a growth mindset and have those candid conversations and be willing to ask for help and get uncomfortable. Let's get into action items. If you're someone who gets easily offended, consider where the advice you're getting is coming from. If that person is being hateful, then you need to move on. So make sure you filter through that or check to see whether you've gotten offended because your ego is getting in the way. Be uncomfortable because that's where the growth happens and you need to find the right fit to help you grow. Before we go, TBR Nation, if you're ready to grow and dramatically impact your life and those around you and you want resources to help, reach out to us at lifestyleattheperfectri.com. And if you're looking for an opportunity to learn in person from Matt and Micah, be sure to join us this September at TPR Live in Arizona. Visit theperfectdiary.com slash live for more information and to save your spot. That wraps up this week's recap. Thank you for joining me. Please share this or any of our episodes with another advisor or a team member who you think might benefit. And be sure to subscribe to the Perfect Diary podcast so you don't miss an episode. Until next time, happy planning. Hold on before we go. Something that you need to know. This isn't tax, legal, or investment advice. That isn't our intent. Information designed to change lives. Financial planning can make you thrive. Start today, don't think twice. Be a better husband, father, mother, and